For this Tuesday afternoon of Holy Week, we look to chapter 13 of John, which is part of what some call Jesus' farewell to his disciples. He's been together and washed their feet, and he's preparing for that journey to the cross, but he shares some frank and beautiful words with his closest followers. Deep words of conversation, you can't find them in Matthew, Mark, or Luke, only in John. He speaks to his disciples of relationship, the relationship that they have then and that we may also have with him now. Jesus also shared the sad news that one of them would betray him. After Judas leaves the room heading out into the night, he also tells Peter that he will deny Jesus. This could have been a very depressing moment for them all, but then Something amazing happens in chapter 15. We read the powerful words where Jesus says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. And now listen to this. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. It's one thing to think about doing small little good deeds in our life that Jesus might appreciate, it's another thing for him to look at us and say, you're no longer servants. You are my friends. Be about my business. Go and bear fruit. Jesus makes the bold announcement, declaring that the relationship he has with his disciples is like a mirror image of the relationship he has with the Father. Even as he is preparing to face the darkest moment one could ever imagine, he speaks, he speaks tenderly to these, his friends. Do we still honor that ongoing relationship between the Father, the Son, and his church? It's like the spiritual glue that connects us with God and with each other. And being thus connected, love is the fruit, the fruit that lasts. Pray with me now. Of all the ways to relate, O oh Jesus, you chose this one of giving self completely. And we have chosen you to follow you into such a way. Now the words are running out. The enthusiasm is disappearing. And the world is conspiring. And heaven seems on lockdown. Of all the ways to move from here, still you chose this way. And still we choose to follow you. But it hurts to see all this. The world is too dark. Our faith is too thin. Fear is too real. Winners and losers are taking sides. And still you choose this way of giving self, of giving your all. Dare we still choose to follow you?